I'm Conor McKenzie and I'm an ecologist for Witchwood Biodiversity. We're doing our one day biodiversity assessment of the site, so that includes doing a breeding bird survey, pollinator surveys and botanical quadrats, as well as some fixed point photos of the site, monitoring the changes over time. We're doing a biodiversity net gain calculation for the site based on its pre-development state. The idea is to establish a baseline for this site so that we can then measure year on year, or depending on when we come back, monitoring years we can measure the progress of the site over time. We're trying it with BridServe in particular, doing DNA analysis of the soils and on some, uh, some of their ponds. And essentially what we're trying to do is get an idea of what is in the soil, so fungi, invertebrates and bacteria. Just get an idea of the biodiversity within the soil and get an idea of how healthy the soil is from that. You can infer from that that it's ability to store more carbon through the sward, through the, through the soil content. For a lot of sites there is always potential, we just need to figure out what the best thing for this site would be and that will come from all the data that we've gathered today. There's some really large open areas on one of the parcels in this, on this solar farm where the gas pipeline goes through and where the overhead line goes through and those sort of habitats are ideal for skylark and one of the things that we're doing with solar farms at the moment is trying to figure out how skylarks and other red listed farmland birds are using these sites, especially because they're usually built on arable land which is typically the sort of land we find these birds on and there's a lot of skylarks singing over there using the land and whether or not they're actually breeding on there, it would be fantastic if they did and it's something we could discuss with GridSurf to sort of manage that bit of land going forward either as a foraging area or potentially as a breeding area for skylarks.